Hello world, I'm Rich and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Hey, it's uh, Saturday before the big... Actually, hey, it's not. It's Friday. Well, it's Friday night. We're it's Okay, Friday we're filming night. this the night before it's going to get released. It's coming out tomorrow, Saturday, the day before the big game. The big game. Um, got my brother-in-law, Pete. Big Broncos fan. Um, he was know, out at the game last weekend he to was, watch the Broncos. He was out enjoying Colorado and the new mile, mile high. <laughs> Anyways, um, Rocky Mountain High, whatever. Something like that. Hey, we're going to do, do, do a big review, right? <laughs> you bet. Hey, we're going to do one from Denver. Look at that. Espresso Oak Aged Yeti. I've never had a bad Yeti, so... Uh, what do we got? I've not had a bad one yet. <laughs> 9.5% 9 ABV. There is a bottled on date. <laughs> See the brown box? They put black ink on, on brown. brown. Great divide. Uh, black ink on brown. Not good. Kate, let's uh, bust into this. Uh, before we talk football anymore, I need to give my two cents. Uh, ESPN, lose your love affair with uh, Tom Brady and uh, Peyton Manning, okay? <coughs> Tom Brady, we love you. Peyton Manning. Okay, enough. If you really want to know the best football team, <laughs> Liverpool, the best football team in the world. All right, let's have a, uh, let's have a Yeti the day before the big game. What's the score going to be tomorrow? I think it's probably going to be 35 to 21, maybe. Broncos? Yes, okay. Broncos. And how about the uh, NFC matchup? Uh, NFC, is it going to be the Seahawks, you think? I think the Seahawks are probably going to take that. I've got a bunch of people out in Seattle, and if the Sea Chickens win that one, I don't know. All right, let's look at this thing. Wow. We've got our Duvel glasses. Black, we got about a finger and a half worth of head. Maybe you, two. Maybe two fingers worth of head. I poured pretty aggressively. You did. But it's very thick. Put your nose in that. What do you. I thought I was going to grab a bunch of espresso. And this is espresso from Denver's own Pablo's. That's very hoppy, actually. I was going to say, that's all I it smell really is hops. Is. That's all I get is hops. Dirty, I thought it was dirty yeti feet. It's a dirty, it's dirty yeti feet. I thought I was gonna get chocolate and uh, coffee. Cheers. While we're getting our taste together, oh, here's what we're doing tonight. We got the big pot on. We're steeping right now. We're working on. You know my love of uh, imperial stouts and the like. This is gonna be ready next Christmas. So. We're going to have, hopefully, an imperial stout that's been soaked in uh, uh, oak and scotch. So we'll see where that comes out. Uh, so wait 11 months and we'll see. It sounds very tasty. It does sound tasty. We'll see if we can put A, B, and C together. This really smells interesting. It smells like hops. Yeah. We're getting pointed at from off camera to like talk about beer. You guys don't tune in to watch us talk about beer. You just want to know about Denver and Liverpool and my beer. And the Broncos. And the Broncos. <laughs> this is really good. It actually is very, very good. Easy drinking. The coffee is smooth. The coffee comes out right away. It's smooth. It's not a bitter coffee. I guess that's espresso. I'm not a coffee drinker, so... Coffee gets bitter when it's sat around too long. This is that's just, what happens. Okay. This is this is definitely not bitter. Okay. This is very good. It's very smooth. And the Yetis, this is great divides. Imperial stout, and then they'll make it an oatmeal stout. They'll make it an espresso. They'll put it in oak barrels. They'll they'll do different things with it. This is the most recent incarnation of the Yeti. So add, the expre add espresso, put it in an oak barrel. I yeah, like it, you get you the oakiness. Yeah, but you can definitely taste the coffee in it too. But it's not over the top. Um, the thing I like here, again, those chocolate hints. There's a little vanilla in there. 
it's smooth. Uh, that's what I've loved about every Yeti I've had. Yeah, it's really good. Smooth, right across the board. What do you think? Give it a, put a number on it. Uh, nine, 9.5, something in that range. I was, I was going to go right there. It's a 9.5. I think the last Yeti I had was an absolute 10, or it was a 9.75. It was one of those, it was the chocolate oak age, and it was a knockout. Um, it was right before the U.S.-Mexico match, I remember last October. Great beer. This is a great beer too. Gang, if you get a chance to try it, I, I think this is nationwide, but the Espresso Oak Aged Yeti, Great Divide Brewing, Denver, Colorado. We're having this to uh, cheer on our boys, the Denver Broncos. <laughs> There's room on the bandwagon. There's You're welcome to hop on. on. The way, well, uh, <laughs> by the way, you're getting this Saturday, but by now Liverpool has totally destroyed Aston Villa, I'm sure. So, uh, <laughs> so with that, go Broncos. The Villa. Cheers, Liverpool. Cheers. Hey, thanks for thanks for watching again.